from Beijing, I'm Xiao Yang, and thank you so much for joining me on Culture Express on CCTN. Now, entertainment in China has rapidly moved online in the last few years, with a flood of dramas available on video streaming apps as well as websites. But with the sheer quantity, the quality can sometimes be hidden. Our top story is in Syria, where the U.S., U.K., and France have launched airstrikes as a response to an alleged chemical attack on a Syria town over the weekend. British Prime Minister Theresa May held a press conference in the last hour. She said British forces have hit a specific set of targets in Syria, and she is confident of the success of the strikes. We're joined now by CGTN's Catherine Drew in London. Catherine, uh, we've had condemnation of these strikes, uh, Russia and Syria among them. Russia said that they happened just as Syria had a chance for peace. So how is the British government justifying this military action? It's an absolutely awful pet case, but it is just one of 40,000 registered rape cases in India in 2016. And, you know, we're also hearing from rights activists that thousands of rapes go unreported uh, because of stigma. So what explains this prevalence of, of rape crimes and what can the government do to stop this? It's 7 a.m. here in the capital and you are watching a live picture right now of our skyline where the day is dawning. Now today we will bring you our special coverage, Daybreak 2018. CTTN's reporters and correspondents will share stories from the past year and bid you a happy new year from different parts of the world. I'm joined by three members of a band that I think it's fair to say has rocked the traditional music genres. They are Hangai from Inner Mongolia and I'm going to... Wow. <laughs> can you, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. You can do it. So, it's very difficult, right? So, not everyone in the band can do this. This is really quite a unique skill. It's two tones at the same time. That's how it's sung. I can't do it. I can't do it. But I'm going to ask him to teach me how to do this, even though it could be a complete disaster. Physics is the basic. Mm. Today's Culture Express, but we leave you now with the new collection of designer Tadashi Shoji, which uh, unveiled at the New York Fashion Week. I'm Xiaoyang in Beijing. Thank you so much for your company and enjoy the catwalk.